Okay, well, uh, Erica Steiger has invited me to make some comments about SRI. I'm a resident of Monroe, Maine, which is about um, halfway up the state near the coast. And I work with lots of small farms in the New England region and sometimes abroad. And uh, most of my farms are organic, but some are conventional. And I'm a troubleshooter. So my work is uh, like emergency worm stuff for soils and crops and trying to answer farmers' questions and give them method changes, tools, uh, amendments and fertilizers, and seed sources to help improve their situation. And I like a challenge. So when there's diseases and insect problems and low yields, uh, I really feel like I'm at home working on those problems. So that's led me over the last 32 years of farming to ask a lot of questions. And if I don't get answers locally, I go elsewhere. And in that search, I stumbled across SRI quite a few years ago, really. And I also searched for small-scale equipment and other uh, ways to improve the, uh, shall we say, the livelihood of plants, since that's what we're living by. And uh, in this intensification process of equipment or infrastructure, uh, I've come to know a number of people involved in SRI in the U.S. as well as other countries, directly and indirectly, and did some traveling to some of those field days in Asia. And uh, I get very excited by the possibilities of uh, small-scale grain intensification and other vegetable crop intensifications, mixed crops intensified using those uh, SRI principles. Of course, we're not just talking rice here, although rice is becoming a New England revolution in its own right. And uh, it is an enormous leap of faith for people to change their paradigm, to believe that plants can actually uh, far exceed their known potential simply by improving living conditions for the plant and the soil it's growing in. And it seems so simple sometimes. So um, I do a lot of experimenting at our farm in Monroe. Uh, this year we have an intensified potato plot. I did winter wheat a couple of years ago and I was astonished by the yield strength potential of a single grain of wheat. And I can see that spreading to almost all crops. Uh, so whether we're applying what uh, Sharif uh, is showing us in Pakistan, we can do that same kind of thing here with vegetables and grains in Maine. Doesn't, our season is really not that big of a limitation. And uh, I see a, SRI is a way of concentrating uh, biological energy into the lifespan of a plant. And it's integral to concentrating human energy into the life of that plant. And I know I could go on all day about this because it's so exciting. Oh, but thank I you owe a lot much. of appreciation to this uh, new change. Okay, thank you yeah. very much. Thank you.